speak facts. I speak for everyone watching this. <laughs> They're like, damn, what's she doing? She ain't even foam rolling right. I am foam rolling. I'm not foam rolling right? Absolutely not. How are you foam roll right? Well, you know, you foam roll better by, you know, no can stop. You, <laughs> now you look like a fool. <laughs> oh. Then I wouldn't expect for you to do so much static. Okay. We would do more dynamic, just get your heart rate up. Right. But because we set like this. Yeah, exactly. I drove from LA to San Diego for four hours. Or two hours, sorry. So I mean if, if you had the traffic. <laughs> if you had it yeah. feels like four hours. California so now, traffic. Exactly. Um you can either do this with a band or you don't have to. Okay. So typically um, what I'm gonna show you, I have like a band that I place here. It's more so just that you want to use the band because I got it in the phone. Uh, I think I have, no, but my band is super like, uh, tough. Um, you don't have to, it's cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of what we're going to do here first, what I like to do is just get the hips open, get the hips activated. Right. Regardless of which lift you're doing, yeah. I like to do this on all three. Okay. So I typically keep my dynamic. Now for bench, I may do a little bit more with the upper body. For squat, I may do a little bit more with the upper back just to get that warm. Right. Because I hate getting on the bar without my rib delts, without my shelf pumped. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Where if the bar is going to sit there, I at least want it right. ready to sit right. there. So for dads, we just got to get these hips open. Okay. Right? So we're going to go to the left. Okay. We're going to take, do I want you to do that many? No, no, no. We'll take 10 steps to the left. Come back here, do 10 steps to the right. Okay. And a lot of it is just this right here. That's all you're doing. Okay. It's lateral steps. I don't do them like this, because you ain't going to warm up nothing. Okay. Get your hips down, push your hips back, open up your steps. That's why I say sometimes adding a band. Is better? It, can't, it could be. Okay. Um, but for this point, because we're not going like as heavy today. Right. No. I'll just say that for the video purposes, like you can add a band here. Okay. So when, when you're doing the lateral steps, you want the band to be above the knee. Okay. Then when I show you the front to step, front to back steps, you want the band to be below the knee. Okay. Okay. To so okay. where when it's above here, you're going to feel the abductors, all the hips pretty much activate. Right. When it's below, you'll feel more of the hamstrings, glutes, and things like that. Okay. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Right. Okay. So. Good. There you go. Ooh. There you go. Feel the burn. There you go. At some point in my career, I just started feeling like um, my body wasn't all the Yeah, that's woo, yeah. That's a, without the band, I'm already like, I feel that shit. I feel that. <laughs> So without 
South Havana's best love more so like mind to body connection. Yeah. Trying to like yeah. activate it mentally yeah. myself. Yes, 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 okay. I like that because a lot of people to where me and you talking, we understand muscle mind connection. Right. Like to the beginners, or even intermediate athletes, it just depends on how you program. Right. Um, you don't have the muscle mind connection to where me as a coach, I'm gonna tell you activate this, engage that, and if you can't do it by just thinking about it, right. when you're warming up, try to mind body. Gotcha, okay. So next, what I've done with that, um, you can do this on any piece of equipment in the gym. I like to do lateral swings, like so. Okay. So the first time I do it, I'm not really trying to swing as hard as I can. On any of the first exercises you do, you shouldn't go all out. Just get your body used to doing it. Okay. 10 swings, a lot of it's 10 swings. Then, when I'm done with that, I go back and I open it up all the way. Okay. A lot of what I do is just getting the body ready to truly be active. So where a lot of, now I experience less hip and back pain, um, getting underneath the bar than what I would when I just focus on static stretching. Um, but the best time to do your static stretching, your deep stretching, is the night before a training session or if you're training in the afternoon, any other time in the morning before you go to the gym. Normally, because I'm lazy like that, I'll do my, I'll eat breakfast, do my stretching, take a pre-workout nap. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear that? The pre-workout nap is so essential. You can take it, take it. Minimum 45 minutes. Minimum. You... <laughs> Deep sleep. Okay. I'm just doing this with you. But typically, I like to do this two to three times. Two to three times. To where you've already done it twice on most of it. You've already done this twice. And what I would do, like after doing this twice, because like I said, I'm very dense. And so sometimes I have to say, okay, CC, you gotta do just a little bit more static stretching, get the knees a little bit more open. So I take that time to do any more static stretching that I need and then finish up with the last round of dynamic exercises. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So we've done front to back, we've done, so have we done that twice, front to back twice on both legs? No, not twice. Typical rep range for this guy is when you're doing the front to back swings, five to 10 reps, fill it out. Um, you can do more if you feel like you need it, but five to 10 is a good range just to get your body warm. Keep in mind, power lifting, um, when you're doing strict training, everything is wrapped around trying to conserve as much energy as humanly possible. That's why you hear us talk about pre-workout snaps. It's not because we're lazy, it's because it takes a lot of energy um, to get through the high volume days, but honestly, it takes more energy to do the singles and doubles than it does the eight to 10. It literally does. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. Yes. Yeah. Right. So now, what I like to do is what I call dead bugs. Okay. Dead bugs gets my spine mobile. They open up my shoulders, but the big thing is getting my spine mobile and opening up my shoulders. Okay. So, dead bugs. You always think opposite arm, opposite leg. One arm here is going to be stretched out. This leg is in a 90 degrees, and then you switch. Yeah. That's so all you're doing. Even now, I hear my shoulders pop. And I always get my shoulders to pop when I do this. Okay. 10 to 20 reps, just whatever you need. And a lot of it is engaging your core. core. Keep Keep core. Keep then you get your core engaged, your hips engaged, your shoulders are now open, your spine is now moving. Right. See what I'm saying? Yes. And now you're ready to. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. okay. Damn, I give this to my clients. I right, I literally give this to my clients, and now I'm, I'm here doing the same thing, right? Look, no matter where you go, right. I think sometimes when it comes to like, warming up and strength training, opposite arm, opposite leg, there you go. I'm gonna fuck this up, y'all. There you go, opposite, there you go, there you go. Reach all the way back, all the way out. You wanna stretch out as far as you can. Think about reaching to the wall back there and kicking the wall over here. You have long limbs, so you really have to Oh yes, I feel the pops. So, yes, but it feels Jeez, good though. It feels good, good but it's like, what the hell? Ooh. 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 Those cracks, right? You don't Ooh. understand the cracks in my back? Oh, shit. I know, I know, I know. God damn. I know. To get your shoulders, biceps, and arm warm, um, you can do band pull aparts. We'll do that for bench. Um, when, we, when we focus on that, we'll do band pull aparts, okay. rotator cuff cleans. But for this purpose here, I get on all fours, but I beat my arms out okay. as wide as I can take it. 
and I lean to the floor like so. So this is to get our shoulders. Yeah, it, it stretches all the way. Like it literally gets the pec, the shoulders, the bicep, the forearm, all okay. the way down. Try to get that shoulder to touch the ground. Although it may not touch, Ooh. it's okay. Oh my good Hold Lord. it for as long as you can. Hey, there you go, head goes with the body. Oh my gosh. There you go. But do you feel the stretch? Oh, I feel the stretch. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, my, um, I've done so much re mobility, recovery work that I've just picked up little bits and pieces from it all. Right, right. And so that's one of my favorite ways now to get the chest open. Of course, you can hold on to something and right. stretch out. It works, but it's that yes. feels really because it really stretches yes. everything yes. from here all yes. the way down. That's, that's a great nice. stretch. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I hope you guys saw that. That's <laughs> a really good stretch, you guys. Try that out. So, for right now, we'll keep the dynamic stretches to a minimum. Um, simply because I don't want to overload you, right? And you'd be like, God, and what does she said do? I was like, wait, the workout ain't started yet. <laughs> I couldn't talk. So that's a little bit. So we did lateral steps, yeah. 10, 10. We did front to back steps, 10, 10. We did lateral swings, five to ten reps. Front to back swings, five to ten reps. And then we did dead bugs, opposite arm, opposite leg, 10 to 20 reps. And then we finished up with. Being on all fours, being our arms out, and just stretching the chest, shoulder, bicep, forearms, all the way down. Nice. That's it. That's you can do that two to three times. Two to three times. Okay. That's a good warm up. That's for sure. Yeah. That's what Goody's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> she about to kill me. 